Sponsored by Southwest Pools and Spas. Hello, everyone. Welcome to KSAN News at 6. I'm Sonora Scott. I've got Casey Sisk here with me and Callie Murray. Love it. We just met. She is a new student here. She's doing breakaway. Callie, we got to start with you. Of course, we're out here at the Bly Arena celebrating ASU's rodeo team. What was it like for you to make a decision to sign on and come on to ASU's rodeo team? It was kind of an obvious choice being trying to be a part of a foundation and something that's just now starting out and ASU was kind of an obvious choice because it's home. It's the community's great. So why wouldn't I choose this? Exactly. What is it like, Casey, for you as a coach to hear, you know, such uh, such ties here, such such roots wanting to stay here in San Angelo and ASU? Well, I mean, you know, San Angelo has rodeo roots regardless. So, yeah. I mean, to, uh, for the local kids to want to stay around here and continue that, that's pretty awesome. And it, and it says a lot for our program, too, even though even though we're still fresh off of, you know, starting it, I think that it's, it's a good deal that they still want to stay around. Most definitely. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about that, you know, because it is so new. What is it like to start a program like this from the ground up? Uh, it's, <laughs> it's a lot of it's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, but we're yeah. ju we're just blessed to be here, and and you know it's a uh, not everybody gets to start a, a rodeo team from the ground up, so uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I've learned a lot still every day, and all the you know the kids, you know we've all got a pretty tight relationship, so that's that's I mean that's what it's all about in the end of the day is yeah. relationships and uh, education. Oh. Love that, love that. So speaking of education, you know, of course, you got to keep up with your studies and everything. So um, can you talk a little bit about, you know, what it's like to balance all of that? Is it is it nothing new for you? Um, it's kind of new for me, on, but it's on a different level. I've played sports in the past, but uh, now this is a collegiate sport. And so, you know, you have harder, harder things to study in different classes, and you're competing at a higher level. So uh, you definitely have to put a lot more effort into it than you do than anything else. So. Most definitely. So, Casey, you know, we're here at this event tonight. You can see everybody, all your supporters behind you. What is it like, you know, to just receive such support that St. Angelo has shown so far? We weren't, we won't be, we wouldn't be where we are today without the support yeah. in the community in ASU. I mean, uh, it's just, it's phenomenal. Um, I mean, just the help and the support that we get daily. We get daily surprises of people just show up and say, hey, can we help you in any way? And, and you know, so that, that takes a load off of me and, yeah. and, and it helps us, you know, start this program the right way. Gotta love that. Gotta love that. Okay, so for you, if anybody out there is watching, you know, young girls especially, what would you tell them about pursuing their dreams and following their dreams? You know, you're going to get knocked down eight and you got to get up nine times. So you got to keep doing what you love and you got to follow your dreams because nobody's going to make do, your dreams not going to chase you. You got to chase it. So. And that's what I'm doing here. So I love that wonderful words of advice, guys. Thank you so much for being thank here with you. us today. We of course, it. of course. Well, hey, folks, we will check back in with you at 10 o'clock. But right now, we're going to send it into the studio. Rodeo coverage is sponsored by Twin Mountain Fence.